Hey guys, today we'll talk about integrating Power BI desktop project with Azure DevOps Git repo. Okay, so let's get started. So we'll start by getting into uh, Azure DevOps and then we have to create a new organization. You can give a name and you can uh, create a new organization. So I've already done that. So I'm going to use this organization, demo Git. Under that, I'm going to create a new project. So let me call it as my demo git. So within a project, we will create a repository and we will use the same uh, repository and uh, to publish our Power BI desktop files. Okay, so we can initialize it first. So we could see under repo. Uh, we have this demo get created with a readme document so now we can clone this we have options two options one is i can create a git credentials and we can connect from over there and we have so many other options uh, with multiple ids available so i'm going to go with vs code so i have vs code installed already and i have the um, extensions uh, uh, github and other related extensions installed so I'll just clone it in VS Code. So when I click on clone, I will give my path. Okay, so I have this folder already created over here called demo git under this path. Okay, so I'm just going to give this, uh, select this as my repository destination. So now from now on, this folder path will be linked to our azure devops git so you could see this readme.md was automatically created over here which was present here in this repository so now let me go back to vs it is asking me to open in a new window let me open this okay so as you could see we have this uh, demo git linked and we we could see this file over here okay now let me go back to this folder let me try to add a new file let's say i'm just creating a text file test file and now if i go back to my vs code you could see this test file is uh, appearing over here right so now we have to push this commit and push this to our uh, repository over here in azure devops okay so before we do that so we have to uh, first uh, add this i mean stage this change okay so by clicking on this i can stage this change so it it from from changes it is now moved to under uh, state changes so from here i can simply commit and push this okay so i will just give some comments over here let's say it's a version one i'll commit and uh, push so when i do this you could see the file is moved to the repository we'll just confirm it we're going over here and looking into the repo okay so you could see the file is moved over here and we can see the history as well and now from now on any change you do over here let's say test let me save this close this if i go back to vs studio it says there is some change made earlier it was blank and now there is a value added over here so i can simply select this i can mark this state change and i can commit or or i can directly give some comment and I click on commit if i directly commit without staging it it will ask me okay would you like to stage all the changes right so i'll say yes so it will automatically uh, do the staging for me and then it will commit and it will push so i'll just sync my changes so now let me go back here and look into the content of this file okay let me refresh now you could see the content is updated in the test file and we could see the history as well version 1 version 2 so this is how we uh, link between these two okay now let's say i have a power bi app and uh, 
let me save this inside my demo git repository okay and now if i go back to vs i should see this so similarly i will add some comment or let's say version one i will simply commit it will automatically stage it for me and it will push the changes so now i should see the pbx sometime soon here in the repository and there is one more thing uh, since i have already authenticated it it was not asking for me those details okay so but if you are doing it for the very first time when you are committing it for the first time it will ask you for username and uh, uh, email details okay so all you have to do is open up uh, git command and you can uh, pass this command and check whether the email and the user names are already configured okay if not you can very well pass this command username followed by your username and then you can make an entry so then similarly for email so you have to do this prior to uh, making this change if not while well, you are trying to commit it will ask for those username and uh, email details okay so yeah so now you could see uh, demo pbx is available over here but now the thing is that it is just a pbx file and we don't have much control over here so we don't know what detailed changes we did within the uh, power bi app so what we do is instead of saving it as a pbx i'll save it as a pbip file within this demo git okay now what it does is when i save it as a pbip it automatically splits into the report level metadata and uh, semantic level metadata so i could see multiple detailed uh, json and metadata files which gives me more control over the changes right for example um, first let me go back to the repository and we could see all these files were newly added okay so for example let me look into report.json it says page one right which is nothing but this page so let me rename this okay i'm just making a change in the uh, page name let me save this now so now you could see the json file is capturing my change so any detail level uh, changes right uh, uh, metadata or uh, label name or uh, dax or any minor change we do everything is captured in detail with the help of these uh, uh, metadata information so i'll just stage this json file alone and then i will say version one so i'm, I'm not going to commit all the files i'm just going to commit only this uh, report.json let me commit and push that Now, if I go back to my repository, I should see my report.json. Okay. Now, let me go back to the uh, Power BI app again. Let's say I make some changes to this uh, table. Okay. So, instead of DM location, let's say location. Okay. And let me call it as name. So, now I made some changes. let me save this now if i go back to my repository so we could see these changes were highlighted okay so earlier it was okay so you could see dm underscore location is now renamed as location so this is the change so now let me stage this change and then i will say version 2 i will commit and push so in that way i have more control uh, of every little change we do on the uh, power bi okay so we can capture all the changes we do on the power bi and at the same time we can um, push it to the repository and uh, have control over here 
now finally so if i want to uh, push all my changes all together so i have all these uh, new changes which are ready to be committed so i can do a commit all together and i can say yes to all so it will stage all these files and it will start pushing it for me so in that way i can push all my files together one at a time or i can do it one by one based on on my need so the so that gives us a uh, uh, total uh, control over uh, version version control over the power bi right so every single change we do on desktop we can capture it over here and we can also do an integration on the power bi services provided if you have a premium license in your uh, workspace you can go to workspace settings you can go to git integration and uh, you could see the azure devops or github based on your choice so so since we used azure devops you could see Uh, the account is listed here all we have to do is connect but uh, i don't have a premium license to do that now but once you do this so you can in, uh, integrate the power bi services with the azure devops so any change you make over here in the services directly will get reflected over here similarly like like how it is happening uh, on the desktop you can do it for the power bi services as well so hope you got some basic understanding about how to integrate power bi desktop or power bi services with uh, azure devops uh, git repository please do let me know in the comment section for any clarification thanks for watching